Mary, Madam Rike, Ministers of the Gospel, brothers and sisters, visiting and friends. You know, truly it is a privilege once more to be in front here, you know, to testify about the goodness of God. You know, when um, I got the message that you know, we have to testify and for five minutes, I said, Lord, help me how to wrap up this thing. Because the amount of blessing, praise the name of the Lord, that I receive coming in the new world church of God, I don't think it have enough people here to come yet. I can't use enough people here. And you know, it started back, you know, somewhere, Lord, in 2015, I remember my um, daughter, you know, Sasha, invite me in the Bible class in Korea. She said, come and see. Come and see what it is, you know, the kind of teaching that is taking place there. Just come and visit. And you know, after a little hesitation, as Brother Kirby had said it, you know, hearing things, you know, you don't want to go. But you know, I said, curiosity, let me go and see what it is going on. And from 10 to 15 to now, I am still here, you know, standing on solid ground. You know, um, while in the Bible class, you know, things come, you know, many storms in my life, I, uh, my way, praise the name of the Lord. And while here, you know, um, Bishop knowing that he don't know me, he don't know anything about me, you know, he started to prophesy in my life. And I'm talking about things that about to take place in my life. You know, and I was a little bit amazed and I was scared because I, of myself, know what was taking place in my life. So when the bishop told me that, you know, and you know, I started you know, to shiver a little, and he said, but anyhow, God don't want me to tell you yet. And I had a storm passing my way. You know what I want to thank God for? You know, the captain that he put to steer in my ship. I want to thank God, you know, for the people, the servants that, you know, follow the bishop with obedience, you know, to come up in Korea. Because, you know, it reminds me of, you know, Jonah, when God told him to go down to Nineveh. And he, it takes a lot of hesitation, it takes a lot of, you know, obstacles, all kind of things before he reach. But the bishop did not hesitate. I want to thank God for that. Because I said, God sent him in the time of my season. I remember, you know, I worked in a company for over 22 years in one position. When I went into the Bible class, the bishop told me, he said, you are going on another location, but sister, you will not move from there. And to this day, I am still in the position, or even, I have to say, not in the same position, but higher in the position that I was before. He come and he told me, he said, you will be rich. And I want to tell you, you know, I sit down here. And I said, but um, when we from rags to riches, physically and both spiritually. You know, when I walk anywhere, I try, you know, the people will notice that, you know, I am a child of God. Favor of a poor favor. I said, you know, I come to my blessings. I just can't keep it to myself. I said, the amount of things that God have done for me and continue to do. You know, even up until, you know, um, Monday day, you know, um, I thank God, you know, I turned 53 years. And, you know, it was that day, the amount of things that passed my way, you know, I was like, God, is it really happening to me? One person coming in the New World Church. I want to encourage each and everyone here, when you hear the bishop prophesy, whether or not it be good, something good to you, or it's something bad, take it. Obedience is what will get us our breakthrough this evening. So I want to encourage, encourage each and everyone here this evening. Trust God. Trust the bishop, the captain that God has placed in our life to steer our ship, and we would not go around. Thank you.